add the ground meat. That sounds so gross. I don't use oils, I use water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water. Just to get everything smelling good, we're gonna add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like spice. We're going to add some of the table blend. We're going to add some of the minced garlic. Obviously my favorite part, some garlic powder. Woohoo! I love garlic. I'm actually starving. You you ain't starved. Ain't nothing about you starved. <laughs> I'm so much better than the majority of you. <laughs> Hello. I will never copyright a reaction channel. I will never, ever strike down a compilation of me because I don't care. Cook with me videos have been highly requested. So right now I'm just cooking dinner. I'm keeping it super simple. I don't like cooking, as you guys know. And things are just harder lately. And I'm trying to do things more and just get up more and move more. And um, that does include me taking breaks and sitting on a chair. So that's what I'm doing right now. We got some chicken. And I'm going to be making some green beans. And I was just going to have brown rice, but I can't seem to find it. So, I don't know. So, I'm just going to be having quinoa and brown rice together. I was going to make like a taco bowl, but I don't have taco seasoning. Definitely wasn't prepared. I also wanted to have black beans with the brown rice, but again, I can't find the brown rice. And I didn't think a taco bowl would be good with quinoa, garlic, brown rice. So, it was like this whole situation, but I figured it out. And a lot of you think I cook with oils. I don't. I use water. I get like just a cup and I'll add water whenever I feel like I need it. You don't need oils. It's just not worth it all the time. Um, so I do use a lot of water to cook with. But yeah, so that is what I am doing right now. I put it all just in a bowl together. I'm not that hungry, but I want to do a taste test for you guys. And the situation is, I hate cooking. You guys know this. And I don't like cooking later in the night. And my sleeping schedule is kind of out of whack. So I just wanted to get the cooking done now. And then I'm going to put a top on this, save it for later. But I want to try it now. I want a piece of green bean. Mm. It's really good. Sometimes the most simplest things taste good. And the seasonings I use, onion powder, garlic powder, pepper, and that was it. Cooking exhausts me. So we just got back from the store. I didn't vlog anything. I just got stuff to make a soup. It's super cold out. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put some ingredients together and call it a soup because I am really good at that supposedly. And yes, I am sitting down in a chair because my leg and my breathing, it's all because I'm over 500 pounds. So stop diagnosing me with stuff, but I just wanted to show you guys what is currently simmering. Um, it's kind of like a cabbage vegetable soup. So what I have in there is water, obviously. I also put some chicken stock, ground turkey, the tiniest bit of corn. Like literally I got this frozen bag and it's still super heavy and full because I didn't put much. Some tomatoes, cabbage. I really, really like cabbage. I did a can of black beans. I did onion. I think that's it. Oh, and mushrooms to add, you know. Oh, I wasn't even filming myself, hello. So that's how it looks. I love just really 
filling soups like this. It's just, it's super, super good. So, so I'm having three slices of this bacon. And I made three eggs. On top of my eggs, I'm going to put everything but the bagel sesame seasoning. Okay. Here's my first meal. 300 calories. 210 for the eggs and 90 for the bacon. Hello everyone, I'm still wearing leftover makeup. Bad habit, that's all I gotta say. I'm not the only one in the world. <laughs> but I'm just making some food. Bell pepper, onion, and chicken sausage. I can show you guys the brand, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Cajun seasoning on this. So I'm pretty pumped. But the brand, please don't mind my mess. <laughs> is this alfresco sweet Italian style chicken sausage with red and green peppers. So this is how it's looking now. It's pretty much done. Doesn't this look delicious, y'all? Oh my gosh. You guys could do anything with this. You can have it with rice. You can have it with a baked potato, which you is know, what I'm gonna do. Good, but I don't like onion or sausage, so pretty much the only thing I'd eat up out of there is some peppers. Then peppers look good. You wanna try pepper? What I'll just put on it. Just Cajun? No, I'm good, Becky. <laughs> Becky is picky, y'all. But, um, yeah, so it's almost done. They already know because I did it earlier. I'm telling. Becky stole your mashed potatoes. <laughs> you guys, if you want to know something about Becky that's like a little random tidbit, when, um, Eric and Ricky cooks, she likes to steal random little bites of their food. Yes, I do. And I get to, I watch in glory, but it makes me sad because I'm like, I want to try it too. Ricky, Ricky's a good cook. I took him out of the mashed potatoes. Ricky is an amazing cook. Sorry, I'm trying so to. you. It's just you cook things I don't really like. Yeah. Healthy. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, even back in the day, you know. There's a big like potato. Onion and Cajun. And yeah, I uh, love onion. So we're having a baked potato. This meal definitely reminds me of that mukbang, that sausage mukbang. Difference between that is though, that sausage mukbang consisted of um, kielbasa, which it was a high calorie meal. This whole meal is 480 calories. So, yum. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Don't be afraid of sausage. The word sausage is such like a... It's one of those things that people just automatically assume is like super unhealthy. Um, for me, this chicken sausage has been a lifesaver because it is... It's low sodium compared to kibasa. It's... Um, lower carb, it's lower calories, it has more of a natural ingredient. So, I'm gonna find me a fork, and I'm going to eat. This is my first meal of the day. My meals are super simple, and that's just kinda how I like it, because I don't wanna get overwhelmed, and I feel like I'm not really, I don't really like to cook, like let's be real. So, I would much rather prefer to have super simple meals that taste good and that are healthy, have the nutrients that you need in them than to be like super complex and like 
crazy and stuff but i really do want to follow some recipes i think that'll be really fun for you guys to watch because i hate recipes hate 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 i don't think i've ever followed one in my life i mean maybe a few times because i was like baking something in the past i don't know hate baking because of the recipes so i'm currently cooking right now so if you hear food sizzling that's why because <laughs> i'm cooking my first meal and I'm gonna be filming a eat with me video. So I'm super excited for that, but also nervous because I know how people are, I get it. And I'm gonna like, hopefully, if I remember, just explain a bit more in my eat with me video, kind of where I'm coming from. So, hi. I know people like to make fun of me for my soups. So I figured this was a perfect time because I haven't made a soup and I can't tell you how long. So I figured this was perfect opportunity to do a cook with me video. I have no idea what I am doing. I just randomly thought about all this. Okay, so first things first, add the ground meat. That sounds so gross. I don't use oils, I use water. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to get everything smelling good, we're gonna add some pepper. I like a lot of pepper because I like spice. We're going to add some of the table blend. We're going to add some of the minced garlic. Obviously my favorite part, some garlic powder. Woo hoo, I love garlic. to cut our onion now just to get it over with. So depending on how you like your onion, cut it to the size that you want, but you won't be adding this in until we have the broth in there and stuff. But some people like bigger chunks, some people like smaller chunks. I happen to like bigger, but I think we're gonna do like a midi, a medium, a medium style, kind of like that. Just depends on how much you like onion. I happen to love it. Becky hates onion, so she won't be eating on this. Make sure you're also paying attention to your chicken. Now we wanna get the black beans ready. See how gross that is? No, you want to rinse. So you're gonna empty that in a strainer, turn on your cold water, and do this. Get all that goop off of it. Once that's done, you're just gonna set it to the side. So what you're gonna wanna do next, when you notice that your chicken is pretty much done, you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna add the taco seasoning. Ooh, yes. But like I said, you can make your own taco seasoning, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna keep it simple. And then stir. I did add a little bit of more water, cause you don't wanna add the taco seasoning to super dryness because you don't want to burn anything. I'm going to add two cups of water. Two chicken cubes. My onion. Give that a stir, wait for it to boil. Ooh, that looks good already. Now that it is beginning to boil, I'm gonna add, this is barely a cup of corn. 
So we're gonna add that. We are also going to add the beans. And this is up for your liking. If you want more broth, add more water. Add another cube. If you want it to be more thick and meaty, keep it as it is. This is when the salsa is going to come in. You're gonna add however much to your liking. I added about half. Stir that. Now you're going to take your spinach. Spinach gets small, so you don't have to cut it, nothing. Welt down a lot. So now that I've stirred it, I'm just gonna let it cook and kind of love into each other for about 10 minutes. So here is how it's looking. It is pretty much done, you guys. So I'm going to serve me some right now and do a little taste test. Doesn't that look delicious? I don't know, it does to me. I am exhausted. It's been a hot minute before I like really cooked something that was like, took a lot of attention. I feel like soups for me take a lot of like, you, it just needs a lot of your attention. So, here we go. I wanna do a little bit of everything. Spinach, meat, corn, broth, beans, onion, and the salsa is floating around in there. Look at that spinach hanging off. I love spinach like this in soups, it's so good. It's hot, just got off the stove. Just how I like it, I love my food hot. You know what this reminds me of? Even though it's taco seasoning and I tried to do kind of like a taco flair, it reminds me of like a chili, kind of. And what I love about this, since it's a one pot situation, when it comes to calories, you just add everything up and then say you want that whole pot to be four meals, six meals, whatever it is, divide it by that, divide it by four meals, divide it by six meals, and then your calories will come out. Usually soups like this, not many calories, especially when you do divide it by four or divide it by six. Mm. So good. So I'm keeping it simple for my second meal. I'm just having Chinese noodles and veggies and a cashew cream sauce. This is the Amy's brand. Pretty sure it's vegan. Vegan! Lately I've been eating like, kind of vegetarian. By that I mean, I'm just like, not eating as much meat as usual because I'm getting like creeped out by it, I don't know. So, just gonna cook this and I'll show you guys when it's done. Ta-da! I am such a chef. It only took me four and a half minutes to make this masterpiece. I know processed food is not the healthiest for you, but Amy's is like healthier of the bunch. And plus I'd rather have this than like fried chicken. Like this makes me feel better versus like fast food or something. Now I shall take my first bite. Mm-hmm. It's so good. I recommend this one. Um, it's great. It has tofu in it. A lot of veggies. Mm-hmm. 
so right now I'm cooking Becky and I dinner. Right here we just have some green beans boiling. These are fresh green beans from the produce aisle. We're gonna have a little bit of pasta and shrimp. I use water for everything, but I have water and some Pam cooking spray on this. Look at that baby right there. She is all tuckered out. She's had a long, adventurous day today. All right, so there is our dinner. It looks good. And no, I do not cut off the ends. Don't come for me in the comments, because I know you will. But yeah, it looks a little messy right here, but. So I'm kind of nervous for the green beans. Because <laughs> making fresh green beans to me is hard, because I'm not like used to it. So I'm gonna do a little taste test. Um, I didn't add any salt. We're doing a thing where we don't add any salt to anything. All I added was garlic powder and garlic salt, which is like sodium free or whatever. <sighs> yep, yep. I can definitely tell. Mm. The shrimp is good though. And the pasta, plain. Which I enjoy. Mmm, taking a bite of the shrimp and the pasta together is like for the win, so. I'm gonna make fresh salmon for the first time ever. And I'm a little nervous. So I'm gonna set the oven. I need just one of these. Let's just set it right here. Let's see Eric and her keys. Put that down. I'm gonna need some aluminum foil. And I actually said aluminum right. Wow. Put it on there. I'm sure everyone knows how to make salmon. It's like probably not that difficult. So I'm gonna use Pam spray for my seasonings. Garlic salt. We're gonna do some pepper and probably some onion powder. Okay, now you guys get to see the beautiful salmon. Look at that. It's a honker. I will not be eating all that. Look. So I did get it from Kroger. It was $4.87. Salmon Atlantic. Ooh, I'm excited. So I'm gonna spray this. We do not want it to stick. I also do not want to touch the salmon. Nope. So I'm gonna use a fork to get it out. So this is probably two servings for sure, or at least to me it is. Um, and there's skin on the bottom, so I'm kind of like weirded out. Do you guys see it? <laughs> okay. We're gonna add garlic salt. Onion powder. And pepper. I love pepper. Bam. Ta da! I like super seasoned stuff, but what I'm gonna do is, because I saw someone else do it, 
kind of like gently pat it in, if you will. So, and then tiny like that because I wanted to get golden. Golden. <laughs> I like my meat really dry. Hi, that's me. So I wanted to get super, super like dry and the ends to get like kind of crispy. So I'm gonna wait for the oven to be done. It's almost done. So I have leftovers from last night. If I can open it. Really just brown rice and cauliflower and broccoli. So you guys look completed. So it's juicy as it's supposed to be. I'm gonna check the middle. This is like a first time thing, so I wanted to do it on here. The middle is the most important. Oh yeah, it's cooked. Eric said he eats the skin. I was so excited. I took a bite without vlogging. Wow. I'm so confused. Oh my God. What is happening right now? I've always had, like I said, processed frozen salmon or from a um, restaurant. So this is like, it's like buttery or something. I'm so confused. I didn't even add butter. You guys make the salmon just how I made it. Your life will never be the same. Y'all. I'm sorry if this grosses you out, but I ate the whole thing. I was freaking hungry. The skin is a no-go. I, nope. I did not like that part. And the part in between the skin and the actual um, filet has this brown part, which is actually where the omega-3 is at. So I ate some of it on one side, but I didn't eat the other side because, you know, I don't need that much fat. Let's be real. This was incredible. I'll be doing this again, but I definitely don't think I needed the whole piece. That's just my opinion. So next time I think before I even plate it, I'm just gonna cut it in half to save the other half for another time. I'm about to make me some lunch. I have made this before recently. It's really good. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of what it is. All right, so first things first, onion. Big potato. We're gonna need some veggie. Um, so I've actually been using fresh broccoli, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just gonna use frozen broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And chicken, salsa, and hot sauce. My preferred hot sauce, tapatio. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the chicken in just like really small pieces, season it how you want, cook it in a pan, microwave this, Microwave this, obviously chop the onion any size you want, cook it with the um, chicken, and I'll show you guys the next step. Pretty simple. It's gonna be weird to some of you guys. I have a weird taste bud, I guess, but it's actually really good. So the chicken and onions are doing their thing. I do cook with water instead of oil. It saves on calories for sure, so. And we have the broccoli and cauliflower and carrots, done. Baked potato in the microwave. This is gonna be a little bit of leftovers. My plate ready to go so I can show you guys how I plate it. Okay, you guys, now it's time for the plating. 
I'm gonna get me a spoon. First thing I do, veggies. This is a lot better with steamed, fresh broccoli. Just trust me on that, please. <laughs> now that I've learned to like truly cook steamed broccoli, it's like my jam. Okay, now I'm gonna get me butter knife. We're going to open, Oof, this is freaking hot. <laughs> this. Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but that's okay. Place it on top. <laughs> I'm not trolling, I swear. You're going to cut it in half. Whew. Open it. You guys literally see the steam, cause I do. <laughs> you guys are gonna take your chicken, place it in the middle, like so. Just enough, just enough, I meant to say, <laughs> to satisfy you. Then, salsa. Um, pour it, whatever you want to do, to your liking. Put that on top. And then, the hot sauce. Which, this comes out super slow. <laughs> So, bam, dinner is served. And I know this looks crazy, but trust me, this is bomb, right here. And I didn't mean to say dinner, I meant to say lunch, but either way. Angle in, so obviously it's all meant to be eight together like so chicken, veggie, potato. Mm -mm. Super good. I'm down with it. Mm -hmm. I know I get judged on my soups, which is okay. I get judged on all the food I make which is totally fine. We're just gonna live our best life and make what we like. Who cares what other people think? So, you're gonna need ground turkey, onion, a potato, some diced tomatoes, chicken broth, baby spinach, Whatever seasonings you want to use, and if you want it spicy, you can use hot sauce, which I'm going to be using Tapatio. Okay, I also, I've gotten some questions. Why do you get pre-wrapped produce? Like my cucumbers, my potatoes, broccoli. So there's two reasons. Everything is always pre-washed. Plus I get the heebie-jeebies because everyone's at the store. It's like flu season cold season everyone's like touching stuff like the bell peppers and like the cucumbers and like everyone's like squeezing on them and i know you can take them home and wash them but it just gives me the actual like heebie-jeebies so it's just a lot easier to just get pre-packaged so i have my onions going with some water a lot of you thought i didn't cook my onions first i do um, once they're about halfway done, that's when I add the meat. Okay. Put some more water. I'm gonna add my turkey. Bloop. Just grounding it up a bit. As for my seasonings, garlic salt. I know I have onions in there, but I feel like 
minced onion and onion powder taste different. And all, like this is sodium free for the most part. You can even look it up. So is the onion powder. And the garlic powder. I don't have any fresh garlic at the moment. And then obviously pepper. I like a lot of pepper in my soups. And now, stir. Let that do its thing until the turkey is cooked. So the meat is cooked. I'm gonna add the tomatoes. Honestly, fresh tomatoes would probably taste better, but those are also really good for soups. I do like cooked potatoes, it's potatoes, duh. Tomatoes, this is what it looks like. And I like tomatoes in salsa. I think it's because it's processed differently because I can't do the whole raw tomato thing otherwise. Now we're gonna add the chicken broth. This baby is gonna be thick. I can already tell because the one potato made so much. Look at all this, just one potato. I'm gonna add some of my hot sauce because I like it hot. I'm going to add the potatoes now. Be careful of the splatter. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna add spinach. Obviously spinach wilts down, so add as much as you want. So this is what it looks like. It's gonna be super thick. <laughs> like I can already tell. It might not even be a soup. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna get a lid and let it, let it do its thing. It is doing its thing. A little update on how it looks. Oh my gosh. It looks delicious. Or at least to me it does. So. I'm gonna try one of the potatoes. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth and see how far cooked they are. <clears throat> Whoops, I was trying to get that one off, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm gonna burn my actual mouth right now. I'm gonna give it another five minutes. It's been on here for about, I'd say 15. So here is the completed. It did boil a lot, which evaporates the broth, which I'm totally okay with because this looks delicious. And this is probably the consistency I should start making my chili, but I love broth, so. Um, this is actually super delicious, so if you want to follow my recipe, go for it. I'm actually about to meal prep, truly meal prep. Obviously, I need to wash these. Um, I'm just going to do brown rice. I'm going to bake some chicken with seasonings. <laughs> Y'all, hate on me for some seasonings. Um, and green beans, um, just living my best life. Just kidding. So probably gonna do chicken, green beans, brown rice. Simple. So let's 
do the chicken together as a unit. Although, I don't know why I do this to myself because people don't like my food at all. Aluminum foil, obviously. Um, Get the chicken play by play, I swear. And a knife. This is my preferred knife. <laughs> a cutting board. For chicken. Why do I need a cutting board? Why do I need a knife? Oh my god. Ugh. I'm not cutting the chicken. I'm so used to cutting it in cubes. I don't need this, honey. Huh? I do need a fork and seasonings. Garlic powder. salt, pepper, and onion powder. You guys already know. So. Pam. Oh no. Pam. Now I'm just gonna lay out the chicken. They're cute little tenders. I don't like big, huge meats. I'm good, I'm good. Okay, garlic salt. Onion powder. I decided not to use the garlic powder. Pepper. Done. And then this just goes in the oven. So, meal prep is complete. A serving of rice was actually a lot more and it didn't fit in just this one spot, so I had to put it there too. So each one of these has a serving of chicken, which is four ounces, which this is actually a little less than four, but that's fine. A serving and a half of green beans and a serving of brown rice. Yum. So I'm actually about to eat me one because I was meal prepping for three days and the only reason why I put one in a container is because I wanted to make it even and yeah. So I'm about to eat me some of this. This is my first meal of the day and I'm pumped. So I finished my food. Look what I did with the rice pieces. I don't even know. Anyways, it was really good. Now I have meal prep for the next three days. And yeah, I'm gonna make something I've made before, which is really good. Orzo pesto. We need Shrimp and feta cheese. Orzo. A lot of people don't know what it is. It is rice shaped pasta. Honestly, that's the best way I can describe it. See, but it's pasta. I have the water boiling now. I'm gonna cook shrimp in a pan.
I'm gonna add some seasonings, which you guys know me. So, keeping it simple, garlic powder. Pesto has a strong flavor, so I didn't need anything with salt. Onion powder. Minced onion, which I'm also cooking this for Becky. This comes out super slow. I know uh, I used it in one of my last things, and people are like, oh my god, that's so much. No, these are like chunks. But yeah, I'm making this for Becky as well. She likes minced onion like that, but just not like real onion. So, I'll let this cook and do its thing. The water should be boiling soon. So, the water is now boiling, so I'm going to add my orzo. That was honestly satisfying. That's just me though. Okay, so I'm going to strain the orzo, so I'll be right back. So now, add it, ovs, and then add the pesto. I normally add the feta too, but I'm just gonna do it on my own bowl. That noise is important. Scrape, scrape, scrape. And then you just mix it. That's literally all you do. And you can obviously add salt to taste, but pesto is pretty flavorful and the feta is too. Babe, it's done. Hey babe. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Be honest, she didn't use feta. You like it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Did you get a bite with the shrimp? Mm -hmm. So that's what hers looks like without the feta. And with the feta. So I'm like pumped. This is honestly so good, I promise. You could do it in so many different ways. One time I added zucchini and um, chickpeas instead of meat. So, yum. Try our nib. Oh, we're doing gingerbread houses tonight. No, no, no. You excited? Are you excited? Get, get a bite with yak with the shrimp. What do you think? Tastes good. It has like a lemony taste to it. Pesto. Mm. Pesto has a little bit of like a lemon. Well, if you're going in for seconds, it's good with feta. Do you like feta cheese? Mm hmm. Yeah. Where's the feta? It's in the fridge. Do you want to bite with feta so you can see like the real deal? Yeah. Okay. As he goes in for a third bite. Girl. Yeah, you're like, ew, you let him like double dip in your food. Um, I mean, yeah, we've shared a fork before. No, I know. Oh. Okay. So you just what, want me to stick the fork in there? No. Oh, yeah. Like take a piece and then put it on there and then take a bite. Okay. However, I mean, you want to do it. I mean, that's kind of a honk. Well, I want the better, girl. <laughs> okay. Do you like it better with feta or without? Because Becky's without, I'm with. I like it better with the feta. I mean, it's still with. good, but I like it better with it. Compliments it really good. Yeah. Really well, sorry. <laughs> well, I'm glad you, you like it. I approve. This is Eric approved. <laughs> So I am making a simple soup with just broth, onion, and potato. I made it the other night, but I want to show you guys the actual ingredients I use. So I use half of an onion, a full potato, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, minced onion, and chicken cubes. So that's literally everything. Oh, and water, duh. Half the time when I cook, I have no idea what I'm doing, which is right now. <laughs> Since I didn't go sh grocery shopping, I just have kind of random tidbits. So I'm gonna make some chicken apple 
chicken sausage, which I've never actually had this one before, and some garbanzo beans. I know, it's weird. Trust me, I might not even like it, but this is kind of what you do when you don't really have many things to make. So I'm gonna cut these in super small pieces by cutting them in half. Can you guys even see? <laughs> I'm sure you can, and I'm sure you just don't care, which I can understand that too. So, I'm gonna cut the, this one in half. Okay, so I've cut them all in half, and I'm gonna cut them in half again. I want them to be cohesive with the garbanzo beans. So, I want them to be in small pieces. So, I will show you guys when I am done. I want to say you guys are going to be proud, but I'm actually going to use oil. You guys tell me, why don't you just use, oh my god, why is it blurry? You guys tell me, why don't you just use a little bit of oil instead of water, so I'm going to give it a go. I don't even know how much to use. Is that enough? I don't know. So I'm going to let that heat up on the stove. Here's my small bits of meat. All right, it's warmed up a bit. I hear the sizzle. Okay, so now I'm gonna drain the garbanzo beans. to rinse them with cold water obviously move them around very fast and easy so the sausage has been cooking for a little bit so I'm gonna add the garbanzo beans so they can both cook together That's how it looks. Very strange and odd, but like I said, you guys know me. I am a strange and odd food individual. So, this is the completed dish. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely up my alley. To me, it looks good, smells good. I haven't yet tried it, so I figured, try it on camera. Everything with me is such a taste test. We got a chickpea and a piece of meat. Mm hmm That's good. And to those of you who said start using oil, I'll try. I'm just like not used to it. And I will say the oil actually browns the meal better instead of like making it mushy. I know. Cooking with water kind of takes away the brown aspect. Like it doesn't get so like crispy. Instead it just stays the same like color or whatever. And it definitely doesn't get to this texture. Normally it's kind of just like, I don't know the word for it. Mushy is definitely not the word. So I'm just going to say mushy though for the lack of a better word. Bye.